guys! Today I'm going to do a book review of Bad Science by Ben Goldacre. If you like this video do press subscribe and I do a mix of project management, book reviews and other sort of business related topics. Now before I start any book I'm not gonna lie I'm a bit of a Goodreads enthusiast so I thought I'd have a look at this on Goodreads and it has a star rating of 4.07 the reason um, I decided to start with this book is it just opened my eyes. It was one of the first books I read that really showed me how science is manipulated so that um, you believe things that just aren't true. And it gave me a really good grounding for my degree and things like that where you want to look at not just the sort of the abstract in a scientific study but also look at the methods and make sure that they work basically. This book um, explains some topics that you've probably already heard about, the MMR vaccine, Dr Gillian McKeith, and to give her her full medical title, Gillian McKeith. Another one that I hadn't heard about before was the MRSA scandal. This was a scandal which actually um, I'd always thought was true that MRSA was in hospitals everywhere and it was really scary. Apparently a lot of journalists were all going to exactly the same lab to have their sort of swabs tested and it turned out that this guy had just didn't know how to run an experiment and was cross-contaminating everything and was getting loads of false positives but because all the journalists knew that he would get them the positives that's where they went instead of to the real labs. He also gave examples of how stories can be manipulated and also how some scientific studies are not scientific at all. He talked about a county that gave loads of its students tablets with I think it was vitamin D or fish oil in them in order to try and improve their exam rates and there were loads and loads of reports from the BBC all sorts of places saying this is an experiment was the first thing that it was going to improve the results um, and the thing is firstly there was no control how can you work out if that is an experiment if you just give every single child the same drug secondly if you know an experiment is going to work before you do it why do it that's not an experiment that's just a doing a thing so he picked that apart and then after the experiment happened he then put in some freedom of information requests to try and find out how successful this initiative was and basically in the end he worked out that it didn't work and actually there are no studies that show that this supplement can increase your brain power another place to find dr goldacre's work is in the guardian so he's quite a left-wing writer. He's really trying to make sure that newspapers and politicians and anyone who has influence on the world actually looks at science and doesn't just sort of make up the answers. He blames things like the fact that so few people are taking the MMR vaccine now on rubbish reporters not actually reading scientific reports. If they'd understood reports and actually tried to understand it, not just been running for deadlines, perhaps they wouldn't have reported on Wakefield's study and now we wouldn't be having these outbreaks of measles, mumps and rubella. I personally really enjoyed his writing style. It's very in your face, it's very this is true, this is true, this is true. He's very confident in his opinions. As someone who read this book in order to improve how critically minded they are, I did find that a little bit off putting because I need to make sure that I'm critically looking at what he says because he could be making mistakes and that's not something he ever really talks about is how he is fallible just like everyone else. Another criticism I see on Goodreads when I look at the uh, one star reviews is around how he really bashes homeopathy and alternative medicine and says that basically there's never been any good experiments on it and then lords proper medicine, proper medicine and for the pharmaceutical industry. But the thing is, he doesn't. He bashes both, but he actually bashes everyone. And one point that he doesn't say in the book is the fact that if there is science to prove that something works, it stops being alternative medicine, it becomes medicine. So a lot of people do seem to be trying to hate him just because he's pointed his book at one of the things that they believe in, even though actually he's pointed it at a really wide range of things that a lot of different people believe in, and they believe in because they've been tricked. So, in summary, I really enjoyed this book. It didn't show as much self-awareness as I expected in a book that's pointing out problems in science. Um, but other than that, it brought up some really interesting case studies, both ones that I already knew about and ones that I hadn't heard about. It's also helped me be a bit more circumspect. It's helped me be a bit more careful when I read scientific studies to make sure they're actually 
good. Even if they're in peer-reviewed journals, you've just got to be a bit more careful, make sure they've got controls, make sure that they're using a good number of people. And if they're not, that they recognise that, they recognise their flaws. And then it's kind of fine, but you know that you can't take them as the best study ever. You've just got to take things with a bit of a pinch of salt. So I disagree with Goodreads and it's 4.07 stars. I would actually give this a solid five stars. It's such a good book. It really made me think. It really flowed well. Um, I enjoy him as an author and I read more of his stuff. If you liked this video, do press subscribe. Press the bell if you want notifications. Have you read this book? Or are you thinking of reading this book? Comment below and let's have a conversation about it. I've really enjoyed chatting to you and goodbye.